Hey, this is Retro Randy, modder of No Mercy, and uh, coder and menu designer for WCW Feel the Bang. The release of WCW Feel the Bang version 1.0, there was a lot of confusion on how to set up the roster tool. Now that we've updated it to version 1.1, many, many things have been fixed, including a much more clear roster tool instruction page. So let me walk you through how it should, how easy it should be to set up. First, there's a few noticeable things uh, that are different between this and version 1.0 as I've added this little note here that I'll read as we get to it. And also there's an FFFF here, which before it was blank. There was a, this is the cause of a lot of confusion for the first version because one of our team members, I guess, maybe even me, who knows, dumped the texture, made it blank, and put it into the load texture folders, which would show up as nothing which confused the entire process. So, now that we have fixed that issue, let's go through the simple process of setting this up. Open the Cheat Engine program attached to Project 64, as you can see here, just like in the little reference box. There it is, we'll hit Open. Uh, I get this because I've done this multiple times, but we'll hit No if you get that to pop up if that pops up for you. Next is change settings to this picture, which if you look closely, we have it set to two bytes, exact value, check the hex box, and then next, here's a little note. After attaching Cheat Engine, Project 64 screen will freeze. Click and move the window to refresh. Sometimes when attaching Cheat Engine to Project 64, the screen will freeze, making it impossible to follow along with these instructions. Just click the window, move it a little bit, the screen should refresh. Now, pressing Z will update our value. Step two, in the value box, type this. FFFF, -F -F -F, and click first scan. Boom. Step three, hold Z on the controller until step four. I'm now holding Z all the way until I reach step four. Type the new value shown in step two, FAFA, -F -A, and click next scan. You should have one or two results. We'll come over here, FAFA. -F -A. Next scan, I have two results. I'm gonna go ahead and let go, and you'll see how uh, this number here updates. As I press it, it'll update along with it. And it's just showing that there's been a change to that value near this address. Step four, type 8060000 into a hex calculator. I've got mine already set up, but if you don't, just open up your Windows calculator, hit this open navigation tab, choose programmer, make sure it's set to hex. And then we'll type 8060000, subtract the last cheat engine result, which will be this one. So let's make sure to hit the subtract button, and then type in 4BA00002. Enter. This will be our offset. Right now I'm going to hit Control C because that's what we're going to do in the next step. And the next step is paste the calculator's result into settings.ini next to mem offset equals 0x and then save. So if we open up our roster tool folder, double click the settings.ini we have already copied and now I will paste control V right in place of that. Mine was the same, yours may be different. You may have to do this each time you restart your computer, maybe not, it really just depends on you. Control S to save, close it out, minimize this. Next step, start the music tool. If correct, it'll tell you, check mark the music box. Let's double click our roster tool, drag this onto screen. There we go, I have offset correct. We will enable the music mod. Here's another additional piece of information to this screen. We no longer have two ROMs to choose from. Now, both the ROM with injected music and the roster tool ROM are both the same thing. So no more choosing between the two or being confused whatsoever. So now under the options menu, if you go to music, you will just change the music set to roster tool. Let's go do that. Music Roster Tool. If you'd like your music to be running off of the ROM, using injected music and not using the roster tool because it's a pain in the ass, just click over to injected and hit start. And it'll immediately start playing the injected music. Please keep in mind that the roster tool is probably about 15 years old. 
So it may not work perfectly, it may not even work for all of us, but if you do everything the way that I've shown you, it should work, hopefully. If not, unfortunately, there may not be much that I can do for you as, like I said, it's a really old program and I did not make it. But these aren't the only things that we've updated in version 1.1. We've also fixed numerous bug fixes, including the infamous freezing glitch whenever you're getting in and out of the ring or grabbing a weapon. We've also added this password feature, where on the main screen, if you hit Z plus L plus R, it'll bring up a password screen where you can manually unlock all the hidden wrestlers, but it won't save. So when you restart the game, you'll have to enter it all in again. We've also added some goofy modes, like a rubber neck mode, giant mode, and tiny mode, all accessible by typing in the correct password, which we will show on the AKI Live forum. These and many, many other bug fixes have been added to the newest version of WCW Feel the Bang version 1.1. And of course, just ignore the fact that everything on my screen has said version 1.0. I just haven't changed it over yet, except for this guy right here. Be sure to like and subscribe to see any more No Mercy mod updates, including the upcoming ECW Bound by Blood save that we've been working on for a while, plus a few others. Comment below if you have any questions. I hope that everybody has found this tutorial easy to understand and I hope that it works for you just as it did for me.